What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today for an exciting video. So I've hinted at this for a little bit. I have some announcements and some changes that are going on. And if you've been following me on Instagram or seeing some of my posts recently, you'll know or will have thought that maybe I've gone off my rockers. <laughs> so um, basically, I'll kind of start from the beginning, share with you what's going on and then kind of give you some updates as far as what's gonna go on with the channel and my business. So let's get some things out of the way. Um, I'm not pregnant, <laughs> we're not moving, I'm not quitting reselling, I'm not quitting YouTube, I'm not quitting anything, um, but we are having some family changes. And maybe some of you could have guessed, but we, um, we kept Geo home from school as the pandemic was happening in March. And he just went to a little part-time preschool. We kept him home and we did mommy school. And so I, that was weird and interesting. I took a break from YouTube for a while because I had to figure out like what the heck was going on. I went away from YouTube for like three weeks. Um, and it was just a really <clears throat> crazy and overwhelming time because it was unexpected. We didn't think we were gonna do it. The world was crazy and it was just a very, chaotic time. Um, but we had mommy school and there was good times and bad times, but we wanted to keep him kind of like in the structure of things. And we always had every intention of letting him start his VPK year, which is this 2020-2021 school year. Um, and VPK here in Florida is like a free pre-K that you can send your child to the year before kindergarten. And if any of you have watched my Four Ways to 4K video, you'll know that I've been embarking on this mission to make $4,000 a month take home from four different columns or four different pillars of a business, um, each making $1,000. And that having Geo go to school five times a week for a half a day this coming year was really going to be a way that I ramped up everything that I was doing in my business. And then the following year, he'd go into kindergarten. And that's when I would kind of like finally achieve everything that I was hoping to do. Um, well, our major life decision is that we decided to keep Geo home for this school year. And so I'll be homeschooling pre-K for Geo um, for 2020-2021 school year. Now, anything could change, anything could happen. Should things happen to get better at the beginning of the year or what have you, and there's confidence that we can return him to school and there's a place for us, we will. Um, but for right now, I am going to be not full-time, but like a pretty good size part-time homeschool teacher for Geo at home. And I'm taking it very seriously because he's an only child and he needs structure. He needs to continue to learn his ABCs and his one, two, threes and all the benchmarks that go along with that pre-K year. It's a very critical year to get him ready for kindergarten. I'm not a teacher. Um, especially of little kids. <laughs> so it's very overwhelming for me. Um, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been on Pinterest and in blogs and everything and on YouTube like crazy. And so it's gonna be a big time commitment um, and mental energy. And so what I decided to do was kind of scale back certain things in my business so that I could go full throttle on the homeschool. And if I find a way to balance it and manage it, then I can pick things back up. That's the great thing about reselling is that you can kind of put it down and pick it up perhaps. Um, so I'm gonna share with you exactly what the plans are and, and how you'll see the changes take place. But that's kind of the backstory. The big announcement is that I'm now a homeschooling mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gio and I are going to have mommy school and it's going to be really interesting. So we're going to start that in September. Um, there's also another big announcement that goes along with this. Um, so we'll save that part till the end. So, so do stay and watch the entire time. But, um, you know, I didn't want to be a homeschooling mom. I didn't ask to be a homeschooling mom, but I'm rising to the challenge and I'm excited for it. And I see a lot of as I'm doing my research and kind of getting into the spirit of it, I see some downsides, of course, mostly for my business, <laughs> um, but I see a lot of upsides for our family and for me and for Geo. And um, I'm excited to start a new journey and to try it and to see. And everything that I've brought to 
reselling or to this channel or that you've seen from me is kind of how I'm attacking homeschool. So as you can imagine, I'm like, um, cause I can't do anything like halfway my foot's falling asleep. So, you know, you guys know me, you know, I kind of really dive into stuff. So that's kind of what's going on with the homeschool thing right now. Um, I made notes because I didn't want to leave anything out. Um, so I'm going to look down at that real quick now because I kind of went through the whole story. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out on that. And okay, so what does it mean for the business? So you know that I started liquidating my Poshmark closet. <laughs> If you don't know, ah, surprise, I'm liquidating my Poshmark closet. Now, most of what I've liquidated has happened already, so don't get all crazy. Um, I did a big sale, I did a couple smaller sales, and I'm gonna be sharing videos about all of those kinds of sales because I tried out some different things and they're really cool and definitely want you to be able to learn from that, um, from my experience. But basically, I'm not gonna sell thrifted items in my Poshmark closet anymore. So anything that's thrifted, anything that's pre-owned or new, but that was thrifted um, is going to go only to thread up. So I'm still going to do those clothes. I'm still gonna order in bulk. I'm still gonna you know, source online like I have been, but all of that's going to thread up. So nothing will be sold on Poshmark for the most part, maybe a few pieces here or there um, that is thrifted. The only things that will remain in my Poshmark closet are my boutique items my jewelry items, my hair accessories, my swimwear, all of that kind of stuff that is brand new wholesale merchandise, that will still go in Poshmark. So I'll kind of be like a boutique only Poshmark seller for a little while for, for the foreseeable future. Those items are also on Mercari. So Poshmark and Mercari will basically be boutique items only. All thrifted will go on to thread up. So I'm still keeping all three platforms. I'm not giving anything up. I'm just shifting where the work is, where the labor is, and how I'm operating it, and also where the inventory is. And that leads me to the other part of this, which is that I'm giving up my storage unit. <laughs> I just did an inventory system video. I just did a storage tour video and now I'm giving it up. And part of it was because they raised my rates. If you haven't seen that video, I talked about it there, but also because of this, I don't want to, I want to simplify the business as much as I possibly can so that all of my mental energy can go to geo and this homeschool thing. I'm not going to be getting up at four in the morning anymore. I need all the energy I can get and all the sleep I can get to homeschool a four-year-old. Um, so everything that I need to do for my business, I'm doing air quotes for my business now, um, is going to have to happen even more in pockets of time that I can find throughout the day and less in the big chunks of time that I used to give myself, which was when Gio was in school or when I would get up at four in the morning or over nap time. Like now it's going to be like homeschool, nap when Gio naps, <laughs> like I'm going to be exhausted because if you've ever tried to homeschool your kid, it's a lot more, I don't want to say discipline or like, you know, yelling at them or anything, but it's like, now you have all these other things that you have to get on their case about. Do your worksheet. You didn't do this right. And I'm not saying that I'm being like mean about it, but there's just a lot more that it takes from you to do the worksheets, do the activities, not make a mess, clean everything up, plan everything out, do this, keep them on track. Like, it's just a lot. I mean, teachers do a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to need all the energy I can get. So all the pre-owned clothing is going to thread up. Poshmark and Mercari are going to be boutique only. Um, so I'll still be active on them, still going to list things. I'm still going to share my closet, all of that stuff, still do relisting. I'm still using Vendu to help me with both of those. Um, and then I'll still be sending things into thread up, a lot of things into thread up because I just can't do the labor on it. And because I can't keep it in the storage unit anymore because I'm giving up the storage unit to save time, to save money, and to just kind of scale everything back. Everything has to go to thread up because I can't keep it here. So all my boutique items are now in my garage. So I can easily ship from home now without having to go anywhere, which is great. Um, so that's for the boutique stuff. And then the thrifted things will all be cycling through, rotating through, sending into thread up. Um, now for YouTube for right now, I'm going to scale back to one video a week for a while. I was definitely doing two videos and then sometimes I'd have a third. I'm going to, for the meantime, scale back to one video a week, just till I kind of like get my bearings. And then hopefully I can go back to two videos a week. That video will happen on Sundays. 
So every Sunday there will be a new video and I'm contemplating on whether I might just go live on Sundays or if I'll do a pre recorded video. Um, so I'm still deciding on that and I'm still deciding on what that video is going to be like. It's probably going to be what I kind of always wanted, which is like a combo video like Tune into Rebecca the reseller and you're going to get a little bit of everything, a little bit of thread up, a little bit of Poshmark, a little bit of what's sold, a little bit of just like things that I'm experiencing and what's going on in my thoughts about stuff. Like maybe it's going to be an actual hour long show or something that has different segments with some what's sold Poshmark, what's sold thread up, thoughts on anything that's going on and some tips. I don't know. I'm kind of just toying with it. So you can expect that there won't be a break in videos. I will have at least one video going up on a Sunday TBA on what that's going to be. Right now I am trying before I start school to pre record a lot of my tips videos that I had in the works that I was thinking about planning out talking about in my head so that I can just have them going. So you might see two videos a week for a little while because I have them all kind of planned out. So for a month or two, it might be a little bit all over the place, um, usually Wednesday and Sunday videos, and then it will scale back to just Sunday videos for a little while. Um, the other announcement is that I am starting one new venture along with the homeschool, and that is I'm going to start, or I have started, a homeschool channel. <laughs> so I'm Diving into a second channel, I've thought about it for a while on having a second channel and I've thought about a lot of different ideas and apparently now the pandemic and this homeschool situation has decided for me that it will be a homeschool channel and really it's more of just documenting my journey. I what The big regret that I have in starting the reselling channel was that I didn't start it from the beginning. Like I wish I could have showed you what it was like on Totspot. I wish I could have showed you what it was like when I made my first sale on Poshmark for a women's item instead of kids clothes or the old inventory system I had when I just had a few bins in my guest room or trying to get pictures done with a one-year-old like crawling all around and walking all around like I never captured any of that I didn't start the channel then and that, that's the only regret that I have is that I didn't get to share all those things and have all those memories for me that I could look back on video so I said since I'm starting this new journey with homeschool I'm going to start the channel from the beginning so I have a brand new channel. It's called Watch Me Homeschool. And on YouTube, it's all one word. And on Instagram, it's all one word. There's another channel out there called Watch Me Homeschool. And she doesn't look like she's active. Obviously, you know what I look like. So you'd see it's me. Um, I have a logo. I should have printed it out or held it up. But um, I have a logo, Watch Me Homeschool. Hold on, let me pull it up. like this. I don't know if you could see it. So it's like red, blue, and yellow letters. So that's the logo. Um, so if you see that, that's me. And the channels Watch Me Homeschool, all one word. Instagram Watch Me Homeschool, all one word. I would love your support. <laughs> I would love your support to follow me on Instagram under that username at Watch Me Homeschool and to subscribe to my new channel and maybe watch some of my videos. It's live today. Today is the launch day, August 2nd, Sunday. All the videos that I've already recorded are live. I'm going to link the channel down below. So if you can go over there and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, just kind of help give me a little support as I'm getting started. I would really love that. I know that not all of you are in this boat, but I do think there are a bunch of you that are. Um, I know I've got a lot of moms that watch me, of course. I think I have a lot of homeschool moms that happen to watch me that are also resellers. And maybe now some of you are finding yourselves becoming a homeschooler, having been a reseller. So there may be some of you in the boat and some of you have like kids Geo's age. So if there's anything that you feel a connection with me on as far as where you might find some value in that channel, I'd love it if you would go ahead and check it out because what I'd really like to do, and I didn't do this with the reselling channel when I first started it, the only goal that I had, I didn't say I want so many subscribers in this and this, the only goal that I had when I started my reselling channel was that I wanted to be monetized by my birthday. I started it in February of 2019 and I wanted to be monetized by my birthday in, in November of 2019. So it was like eight months or something. 
and I did it. I beat, I beat it. Um, and so it took me about seven months. I'm making an aggressive goal and I may share it on this channel. If any of you are interested in like YouTube and starting a YouTube channel, things like that, let me know in the comments below because I may share a little bit of that on this channel um, in starting a channel from scratch. But basically I'd like to monetize that channel in three months. So by the end of October. So that means I need a thousand subscribers and I need 4,000 hours of watch time by October 31st if I wanna hit my goal. And I would really love your support in that because if that happens, that will just help me monetize that channel right before and right into Q4, where I think I would have the most chance of like getting a little bit of AdSense going, getting some affiliate sales going, and that will help me offset what I'm losing out possibly on reselling. And let's talk about that. So I have the new channel. It's up. Go check it out. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lose money or if I'm going to make more money or if I'm going to make the same amount of money. I don't know. And I'm excited to share that with you here because you know I've been tracking that four ways to 4K. So reselling is one of the four ways. Print on demand is one of the four ways. Rebecca the reseller is one of the four ways. And then the fourth way that I had that I hadn't started yet was my digital downloads business. Well, that's not happening, but I am adding in the Watch Me Homeschool brand. And so it's possible that if I can make the same amount of money reselling, but just in a different way, and make some money from Watch Me Homeschool and everything else is growing as it was supposed to, I might actually make more money than I had even planned before or maybe even on the trajectory that I was. I don't know, like it's a very exciting proposition. Now that I'm getting rid of the storage unit, now that I'm starting a new channel, now that I'm building up the Rebecca the Reseller brand, print on demand is going well, I'm changing things with ThreadUp versus Poshmark, it's very interesting and there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be looking at and wanting to share with you. So I really hope you stay tuned because this is actually where I wanted to go, like to be more automated and um, remote and not have the storage unit, sending things to thread up, not being as labor intensive. Um, so I'm scaling back this business, business, simplifying it, yet at the same time growing it. Can that happen? So it's very interesting. I could be completely delusional. One never knows. <laughs> That's what's going on. I do have a couple other things. Um, let me see. Let me see. No, I mean, I guess that's it. So it's basically, I'm homeschooling. I'm shifting my Poshmark focus. I'm still reselling, still doing YouTube, just scaling back a little bit. Still doing my print on demand. I actually want to share some content on that. I keep saying it, but now I really think I need to because I'm going to need, I'm still going to have reselling content. It's just going to look a little bit different um, because I won't be able to do like, the same kind of what sold Poshmark. Like I will still do what sold Poshmark, but it's going to mostly be boutique items. So if you're not selling boutique items that you're not going to care about that, but I can do what sold more thread up as more people are interested in that. I can still do a lot of tips videos because all of that is still fresh in my mind. And I have so many that were on my brainstorm list to share with you. So there's a lot still coming for me. It's just going to be a little bit different and it may be a little tumultuous for a, a couple of months till I get settled and everything, but I'm really excited for these changes um, because it might lead me to my goals in a haphazard way sooner than what I thought. Like I thought I was going to do my four ways to 4k and then I was going to kind of work on scaling back the business and automating it more and making it more passive. And now I feel like I'm kind of forced to make it more passive earlier before I actually hit the four ways to 4K. And that might actually help me get there faster. Is, like, does that make sense? I don't know. So I'm not going away. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm not moving. I'm not quitting reselling. I'm here. I'm selling. Um, I'm just switching things up as usual. This girl just can't catch a break and stay consistent. And Gio and I are going to have some crazy shenanigans and fun. And if you want to see that, <laughs> you want to learn how I'm attacking homeschooling, how I'm growing a channel and all of that, I really invite you to go and check out at Watch Me Homeschool. Again, all one word on YouTube. Check out the link below. It'll be a lot easier than trying to search for it. 
at watch me homeschool on Instagram, go follow me over there. And just, I thank you for the support here at Rebecca, the reseller. And I thank you for the support. If you head over to watch me homeschool, I'm not going to give up on you guys. I love this little community that we've created all the people that comment and like, and watch my videos and have subscribed. I appreciate it. And I want to keep this going, but now I'm also going to do other stuff and Lord help me. <laughs> so like this video. If this is the first time you're watching me, you're going to think I'm completely nuts, but subscribe anyway, so we can hang out again and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about all that I just shared. Oh my God. It's crazy. So anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, new computer. Yay. It's awesome. Okay. Bye.